come into my abode. Welcome to my channel. Ah, welcome guys. Welcome to my channel, Support the Support Worker. Hope you all are well. Happy New Year. How's it going for you guys? Um, here, just a short, brief introduction. Here in the UK, we are under a third, a third lockdown here. So um, it's not that we're not used to being in lockdown, but it is kind of frustrating because obviously we want to move on. We want to do things. We want to meet people. We want to hug people. We want to greet, you know, we want to breathe. We want to be free. Obviously with this lockdown, it's uh, proving very difficult. But saying that, obviously we have the vaccine here now. So um, that's something to look forward to. As long as we can all get vaccine, then we should see the end of this COVID situation. Now, less of that and more of this. I have with me a soundbar. Yes, a soundbar. Very excited to have this in my presence. You should have seen my face when I received this from the delivery guy. It was more like... <laughs> anyway, um, I have here a majority, it's called, a majority sound bar, which is made by Snowden, if you know that company. I don't know if you know that company, but that's who made this Bluetooth sound bar. What does it do? Or what does it have as features? Now it's easy, because I could read straight off the box, no messing about, no hanky-panky. Let's go. You've got a built-in subwoof. Woo, nice. Bluetooth. Compatibility, excelente. RCA and optical connection, which is always good. So that should actually make the connection between this device and the TV to run smoothly. We have a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is also handy. We have a remote control, yep, for all those lazy people out there that don't, don't want to get up and switch over the, uh, the soundbar, because obviously it has controls on the soundbar itself. So the lazy people that want to stay in their bed and just use a remote control, you got one in this box. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to unbox this. I'm going to show you it being unboxed. Then what I'm going to do is show you it in its full glory, being operated with the sound quality. Because obviously I believe that this has got a good range of sound. We will hear that for ourselves. In the meantime, as I said, I'm going to open it up. It's going to be an unboxing, which I'm very excited about. Um, and also, I should mention, this has a wattage of 120 watts. Woo! Happy days. Right, let's get into this. Got me scissors. Peel that away. As we do. As you know, guys, I've done an unboxing before, but never in this style. I thought I'd give this style a go for 2021. You know, you've got to try different things, haven't you, in life? And I decided to try this method of unboxing. So, I hope you like it. If not, well, it's going to be happening. Anyway, what have we got in this glorious box? Let me just unpeel that, put the scissors on the floor, as you do. Peel back the sides. Right, first of all, we have plastic bag. And in the plastic bag, let me just open the bag itself. In this impressive bag, as mentioned on the outside of the box, we have the remote control, so they didn't lie about that. It's actually in the box, which is good. We have the, uh, the leads which is good. Once again, you know, the auxiliary leads and, and the uh, 3.5 millimeter lead. So that's, that's good. Also included. We have a manual. Do I need a manual? 
No, I don't think so. But anyway, it's there anyway. I have um, some screws and I have some sockets um, for the screws, obviously. And then I have, which is so useful, and I didn't think they would actually, um, you know, supply this, but they have batteries. Oh my goodness. So that means I could actually put it in a remote control, ready to use, ready to go, which is very, very handy. Now, as I dive deeper into the box, and I'm thinking, is there anything else? Oh, there's a card. Now this card is a three year warranty card, I believe. So this has three years warranty. What will go wrong with this in three years? I don't know. I will have to wait and see. Will I actually have this in three years time? That is the main question. Guys, you'll have to wait and see. But anyway, I'll throw that on the floor because I don't really want to know about that right about now. I'm more interested to feel this, the sound bar. I want to actually um, look at it in more detail. So these are the things that I'm interested in. Right, so as I take it out, as you can see, oh, and oh, oh, I forgot. There is an extra box in here. Now this is the, um, you know what this is? This is the power lead for the device. I know that straight away. So yes, that's also included in the box. So let me just get rid of these foam bits here. Throw that away as you do. I'm going to have to tidy up afterwards, I know guys, but you know, when you're excited like I am, all you want to do is open the thing. So anyway, um, let me just peel back this plastic. And that's another thing, guys. It's well packaged. The box is secure, but it is well packaged, well, well thought about. So that's a, that's a plus. I may hear you ask, guys, where did I get it from? And the answer to that is Amazon. I bought this from Amazon. Um, the price was uh, 45 quid, which was uh, not too bad. Very affordable for what it does anyway. It's a, it's a very, very good price. And obviously with delivery charge, which was four pound and 49 pence for next delivery, I was um, pleasantly, pleasantly happy. I'm not saying surprised, because obviously they, Amazon do deliver on time. I've never had any issues with Amazon, to be honest with you. eBay, well, that's another matter. That's another video, and I'm not gonna get into that. So let me just pull back that. First impressions. Very good looking indeed. Have a look, guys, if you can see that close up. Look at the sides, nothing at the sides. Oh, there is something at the sides. I'm good, I'm lying. There is a ray of some buttons at the side here, guys, as you can see. I don't know what these buttons do, but I'll, yeah, let me just go through them quickly. We got a power button, we got a source button, a volume plus and a volume minus, and we got the pair button for the Bluetooth. And on the left-hand side, we've got a line-in button, which is always useful. And then, obviously, that side, as I've shown you, is nothing, and that side, again, is the buttons. And then as I look at the back of it, which is the back here, you can see there are some import, imports here, or imports right here, guys. And what do we have here? We have, um, we have some hooks, so you can actually display this on the wall if you like. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just gonna put that on my chest of drawer, which you will see later in the video. And you also have the, um, it, Auxiliary um, ports as well, ready and ready and waiting, and the uh, charging port as well. So that's the um, input where you uh, put your charging lead, which is good, which is handy. So yeah, it's got all the basics. It's got the the <laughs> the magical hole which we all know and love now. So in first impression, is it heavy? But to me, nah, it doesn't weigh that much at all. It's quite light. Um, it's got the grill at the front, as you can see, standard, plastic all around. Nothing, you know, nothing unusual, to be honest with you. It's good looking, I must admit. So it curves over nicely. So you've got that nice curvature. I do like that, indeed. So, um, yes, first impressions, 
very satisfied. Will I be satisfied with the sound? I wonder. Well, you stay tuned guys and find out. So I'll see you very soon on the other side. Hi guys, welcome back again. So, um, disappointing news, very disappointing news. I wanted to show you the um, soundbar in full effect, but my disappointment is, I tried it last night, and to my amazement, two things. First of all, it's gigantic. I should have checked myself the size when I ordered it. It's far too big for my setting. So, that's one reason. The second reason, which is fundamental, is the quality of the sound that comes from the speaker. As I said, as you can see guys, it's boxed. I'm sending it back. Today, it's going back where I bought it from. That's how unhappy I am with this. So, let me just briefly explain to you about the sound quality of this soundbar. I turned it on, connected it via the AUX lead, fine. Connected beautifully. Bluetooth 5.0, fine. That connected to my phone beautifully. No trouble whatsoever. Turning it on and off, quick, sharp, as you would expect. So, going on with the sound quality, there was a lot of treble coming from this unit. The bass was low, in mid-range volume, it was fine. Turned it up to full volume, there was a lot of distortion detected and hardly any bass pushing through, which I found very unusual for this particular unit. In the reviews, it did say that this would exuberate bass, mid-range, everything that you would expect from a soundbar. But I'll tell you something, guys. You'd have to use it yourself to find out. But I'm very disappointed. And that's the reason why it's going back. The good news, because there is good news, guys, I've ordered another soundbar, which is coming, I believe, tomorrow. So what I'll do, I'll do another video with the new soundbar, with the demonstration of what it sounds like in terms of the sound quality, feeling it, looking at it in detail, not too much, but detailed enough to give you a review. I'm not really interested in this. That's why this is going straight back to his owner. So guys, I'm gonna leave it there. A brief, quick, and decisive um, conclusion. Would I suggest for you to go and get this? Well, you make your mind up, guys. I'm not gonna do it for you, but for me personally, this is going back because it's a loader, and I'm not even gonna say it. So guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Have a good day. I'll see you guys on the other side. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bells, share with your friends, and keep safe. Adios.